Today we are going to decapitate and skin a western gopher snake. I've never done this before, but I know how to do it. So I'm going to share my knowledge with everyone on YouTube. <laughs> Got a common pair of scissors, some plant shears, because I don't think mom was very keen on the idea of using her butcher knife. So we're going to do it this way. <laughs> so first step, you want to make sure that you have some paper laying, laying down because this is going to be messy. Um, this guy fell out of the sky and landed on my car. So he did die of natural causes. He even has a puncture wound right here. As you can see, it is still bleeding from what I'm assuming is the claw of an eagle or something. But I'm not going to let that affect my want to keep his skin. So, <laughs> so we're going to want to have a bag handy for all the innards, which are going to be very gross. It's already pretty gross. So you want to try to get the head off to save as much of the skin as you can, as close to the back of the head. This would be the best way to do it. Go back a few vertebrae just to make sure I get the entirety of it. That did not work as well as I planned because these shears are not very sharp. Nope, not happening. Go all the way back. So, the sharpest part will be at the. As per the boyfriend's suggestion, going all the way back. It's not working out too well, but I'm pretty sure we have already cut the vertebrae, which is the reason I was using the shears. We'll use the sharper scissors to go the rest of the way. Complete. So I'm going to set the head aside because I'm going to use a solution of peroxide and water to deflesh the head so I can keep the skull as well. Because I'm funny like that and I like skulls. We're going to flip this guy over, and you're going to want to find the vent. Yes, that is the snake's butthole. It is just the easiest entrance point to get in and make a long incision along the belly of the snake, as is traditional when making snake skins, so that you keep the entirety of the back and all the beautiful coloration intact. You just want to peel that back a little bit. Get in there, and you want to be gentle, but thorough. Granted, this is not the best of tools to use, but I had to act quickly with what I had, so this is how it's going to get done today. Every once in a while you want to pull back. So you're not messing in with the organs there, and just try to get right under the skin. As the boyfriend pointed out, the sharpest end is towards the back, so you'll want to get it in there as best you can. He's going to have a few mishaps on him since he was picked up by a hawk and dropped so kindly on the back of my car. So I don't expect him to be perfect, but hey, you work with what you get. Also, it looks like the hawk broke his back in a couple of places, hence why he won't lay flat out completely. Again, warning for the faint of heart. When I open this guy up, it is not going to be pretty. So squeamish may want to look away. I think it's too late for that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try to get over here so my shadow is not blocking in too much. The 
Again, not in the best condition, but he's pretty fresh, so hopefully this should turn out pretty well. Come down a bit. In case you're wondering, I have him on top of a, a stiff board just to uh, give myself a good surface to work with, so I'm not doing it on top of the dirt. Another fun fact, snake innards make great fertilizer. So if you ever find yourself doing this, for whatever reason, don't forget to save the guts for your plants. And guys, if you're watching and you have a girlfriend who does this kind of thing, just know that she is a total badass. <laughs> I think that was more directed to me. So I am going to ask my boyfriend to get a close-up here. I want to show you inside. And this is going to be the most tedious part. There is a layer of connective tissue. See these striations here? We're going to want to drag the sharpest end of the scissors along that to disconnect the muscle from the skin. I'm going to start from the top. Give me a better way to come down here. Looks like we got a little hole there. Ideally, if you have a razor blade, that would be choice. But, like I said, we're working on a timeline here, so using what we got. And for anybody else interested in trying new things, yes, you can eat this if it's freshly killed and you have a decent idea of where it came from. You do want to be careful to make sure not to eat any snakes that might have been poisoned because then you would be ingesting the poison yourself. So that would not be good. But this meat here you can prepare and cook pretty much like chicken or fish. And I'm told it pretty much tastes like chicken. <laughs> you can see here these little striations. This is the connective tissue I'm talking about. Just want to be gentle, make sure not to go through the snake skin. So nice and easy along the muscle. And you can rinse the hide to get any of that goo off of there. So don't be shy. Just gently dragging the hard edge of the scissors, or the sharp edge rather, along the inside of the skin should disconnect that tissue for you. You see you get a nice white underside to the snake skin. You want to pause it here, baby? Yeah. 